So this is my art. But I want to show you the flaws of it. Some might say it's great, I think it's great too. But I will show you the flaws of it. And this one, I'm not sure if it's gonna focus, but the black color that I used in this in this area is like it's smudged all over the lights. For this one, look at how shaky that gold line is, and then there's a lot of color bleeding on this area. And of course, for the famous Empress painting, this tulip, look at that. Um, that is actually not a shadow, it's um, paint that is spilled. My niece spilled paint all over my paint, so yeah. My niece, my niece spilled paint in this artwork of mine and I just had to fix it. Now, why did I show you the imperfect parts of my artwork? The parts wherein it is not that noticeable for others, but it is for me. It is because in this video, I will share with you how to overcome perfectionism when it comes to your art. No artwork will ever be perfect and imperfect things make things look perfect anyway, so why even try to make it perfect? I know, right? Mind blowing, enlightening, perspective shifting. But all joking aside, one way to overcome perfectionism is to embrace the fact that nothing in life would ever be perfect. That is also a reminder for me to just create videos without expecting to reach the standard that I put to my creations. And with that being said, I reveal to you my DIY sketchpad. So, um, pardon my creatively stained table. It has suffered a lot of creativity. <laughs> and these anime faces are just for things to be centered. So this is my sketchbook. It looks dirty because I just made it from scratch. I used cloth, illustration board, and these extra dirty parts is where I put too much glue. And dust sprinkles attach themselves to it. And this design is actually the t-shirt front logo. The one I released as 2021. I had an extra one and I just heat pressed it so that the sketchpad will look fabulous. And so I already have drawings in it. This is my Gojo and Shoko drawing. And then this is from Masho. As you can see, I ran out of ink in this one. But it still looks awesome because I didn't strive for perfection. Then of course, the three main characters of Kimetsu no Yaiba. And as you can see, Zenitsu's left eye is too big, but as a whole, it still looks fine. Then an evil-looking Tsukasa with a very rough ink work, and it turned out great too. I love the black background. Then I drew this Gojo when I was not feeling fine. Drawing anime really helps me to relax, and so I drew a silly Gojo manga panel with the saying, and then everything will be just fine. And this one, I sketched it when there was a power outage in our city. So I made two sketches, but we are going to ink Hanako for today. So let's get started. If you have been watching my previous videos, I know this is not my typical video format. I usually face the camera with the background and a very lengthy script. But for this video, I really strive to just film what is. And now you are witnessing me actually draw for the first time in this long form kind of video. And I want you to see how wobbly my lines are. One eye got bigger and I had a mistake with the fingers. And I'm actually fine with it. I don't mind it because I allow whatever is. I allow mistakes and mishaps to these drawings of mine. And the best part of being a creative is anything is possible for us. Everything has a solution and the best, another best part is that we can make it pretty. So I just continued inking. I like to do it roughly this time, no perfect lines too. I don't mind it to be crooked, for some areas to be patchy, it's fine, it's very much fine. And it's even better if you just allow. So this is my Hanako drawing from TBHK. This is reference from the official Aidairo art, if I'm saying that correctly. I hope this short video of mine will help you in some way. Once again, 
creating to inspire and power and lighten. This is Charlene of CB Arts and Inks. See you in my next video.